Hi fam, you're welcome back to Aline TV. It's been less than 90 days since new governors were elected in some of the southeastern states in Nigeria, states like Enugu State, Abia State, and Eboi. And since the swearing in of these governors, residents of these states have been eagerly waiting on the governors to fulfill all their campaign promises. In today's video, We'll be spotlighting two of these southeastern states, Enugu State and Abia State, respectively, and we'll be sharing with you major achievements by these governors in their first few months in office. If you are new to our channel, you're welcome to Aline TV. Do well to click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so whenever we upload videos, you get to see it. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, thank you so much. First from Enugu State is the establishment of an operational Navy base in Enugu. The Enugu State Government, in collaboration with the Nigerian Navy, is now to establish an operational base in Enugu State to improve the security of lives and properties by securing the state's coastal areas. The Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ugala, visited Enugu State and disclosed this, where he stated that the Nigerian Navy had three major roles, which were first, military roles, diplomatic roles, and policy roles. He further stated that they noticed they have not really been carrying out any of their policing roles in Enugu State, but with the support they are getting from the new Enugu State government, they are now set to do this, knowing fully well that the state has a navigatable river around Uzo Wani local government. That river actually used to be a seaport during the colonial era, but it was abandoned. They believe that if they are able to police that area, it would give assurance to investors who will now want to invest in the development of that seaway for the benefit of the people of Enugu State. It is in our interest that we support them and partner with them to see to quick realization of the setting up of the naval base to police our waters and also for us to benefit from their inland policing activity of the Navy. Of course, as you know, from here to Kogi, the middle belt is less than an hour or two hours trip from the waters. So it is a situation where we want to work with the Navy and benefit from what the Navy can do. The Navy can do a lot. They can set up the Navy school. After all, in Enugu, we already have the uh, Air Force Secondary School, the Army Day Secondary School. So we'll be working with the Navy. If they have their base here, they have their families here, then we can work with them to set up a naval school here. Nothing stops them from doing that. And if they are here, nothing stops them from setting up a Navy hospital. One of the projects that the people of Enugu State can't wait to come to fulfillment is the governor's promise to make water available throughout the state in the first 180 days in office. It is, however, positive news to know that the governor has embarked on a massive water project for Indian Enugu State. Renovations is currently ongoing at Eva Valley Water Works, Oji River Water Works, and Ajali Water Works. Most of the desolate water reservoirs are speedily getting attention. More industrial boreholes have been drilled. Old pipes are now being replaced with new ones, and lines are already falling in place. These steps are in line with the governor's promise that in 180 days, water will flow in every corner of Enugu capital. Here are two out of the 18 new industrial boreholes nearing completion at 9th mile, with one borehole producing up to 150,000 liters of water per hour. The 18 boreholes alone, with all their combined capacity, can produce enough water for Enugu city. Pipes have been laid from the water engine at 9th mile corner, Enugu. It is work done so far. It has even passed this place. This is where I can get a view of the pipe underneath. As you can see, it's being covered already. The third project we'll be highlighting in today's video is the governor's efforts to clean up Enugu State. On his emergency into office, new waste disposal trucks and beans have been made available and the Enugu State Waste Management Authority has suddenly become more active as compared to what was noticed in the former administration where 
lots and lots of debt could just pile up for weeks unattended to. Driving through Enugu metropolis in the past few months, it is now very easy to tell the difference as the Waste Management Authority has now taken full charge and the roads seem to be clearer. Even those places where refuse bins are placed are now more tidier as these refuse are now properly disposed regularly. If you are still watching this video and you have not yet subscribed, please do well to click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell. So whenever we upload informative videos like this, you get to see it. Now, Abia State Road Rehabilitations and Construction Projects. The Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Oti, has concluded arrangements to build the first ever six-lane road in Umwaya, Abia State. Governor Oti, who was sworn in May 29, 2023, has severally said he was in a hurry to transform the state. The governor has also confirmed that work would begin on the dualization of the Osa Road in Umaya from the Enugu Portakot Express Tower Junction to Michael Opara Square, right inside Umaya City Center. The state governor has said that these projects are part of his efforts to uplift the status of Umaya from a glorified village into a befitting state capital. Other important city roads, including Umaya Ikotek Bene Road, the Aba Uweri Road, has also started getting attention from the state governor. The state governor has also mentioned that major reconstruction of the dilapidated Portacourt Road in Aba and other strategic roads in the commercial city would soon begin. Governor Oti has already commenced the renovation of nine roads in Aba Metropolis to make them more motorable pending their full rehabilitation. The Commissioner for Information, Prince Kanu, stated that the major preoccupation of the governor was to make city roads motorable as soon as possible, assuring residents that very soon every community in the state will begin to feel the impact of the new dawn in Abia State. Emergency evacuation of refuse dumps. The sanitary condition of Abia State, especially the major urban cities of Aba and Umaya, has been a great source of concern in the past years. However, following the new governor's inauguration, he immediately declared state of emergency on waste. Evacuation of refuse dumps has since then commenced simultaneously in both Umaya and Aba. New recycling trucks have since then been sighted around refuse dumps in Umaya, cutting away heaps and heaps of refuge that have defaced the city. The governor, who after this declaration, went on to appoint Mr. Ogbona Okereke as the head of tax force to implement this refuse disposal emergency, has thanked the tax force for swinging into action without delay, vowing to reposition Abia as one of the cleanest states in the country. In Aba, road users and traders around the vicinity who have always been contending with the mountainous heaps of refuge and the stench emanating from them has cheered the governor and the tax force team for swinging into action as soon as possible and for clearing up this refuge. We do hope you enjoyed today's video. Please do well to drop your thoughts with us in the comment section. And if you have not, do well to click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell. So whenever we upload videos, you get to see it. And if you are a returning subscriber, as always, thank you so much. We'll catch you all in our next video. Bye.